Hello buddies. Today in this video we will talk about chloride, its functions, hypochloremia, and hyperchloremia. Introduction. It is the major extracellular anion. The average serum concentration is 95 to 105 milli equivalent per liter. Intake, output, and metabolism of sodium and chloride run in parallel. The homeostasis of sodium, potassium, and chloride are interrelated. Chloride is important in the formation of hydrochloric acid and gastric juice chloride ions are also involved in chloride shift. Daily requirement, about 100 to 200 millimole is taken in the diet as sodium chloride, table salt. Functions. It is involved in maintaining osmotic pressure and proper body hydration. Dietary chloride is absorbed by the intestine. It is filtered out by the glomerulus and passively reabsorbed in conjunction with sodium by the proximal tubule. Excess chloride is excreted through urine and sweating. Excessive sweating stimulates aldosterone secretion, which acts on the sweat glands to conserve sodium and chloride. Distribution. Whole blood, 250 mg per dl. Plasma, 375 mg per dl. CSF, 440 mg per dl. Cells, 190 mg slash 100 g. Muscles, 40 mg slash 100 g. Hypochloremia. A low serum chloride in serum associated with loss of gastric HCL due to prolonged vomiting, salt-losing renal disease, metabolic acidosis, etc. Hyperchloremia. High serum chloride is seen in dehydration and decreased renal blood flow. During the assay of electrolytes high quality of distilled water is recommended for preparation of standards and diluting the sample.